Hey guys, it's FIFA Roller here and welcome to a new series on my channel called Foot Manager. Now, it's basically Ultimate Team but with a few adjustments to it. Uh, introducing concepts such as supporters, we'll have the possibility of upgrading our stadium and we'll be able to get sponsorship deals. But just very, very simple. The game modes we are playing are online single matches and online tournaments and through these uh, game modes we'll be able to get more supporters to our club. Now these supporters are sort of, um, they affect how many coins we earn to our club and we can use these coins to upgrade our club basically. So first off, we have sponsors um, and as we get more and more supporters, we'll be able to get better and better sponsorship deals. So the first one arrives when we have 5,000 supporters and right now we have 1,000 supporters as indicated in the top left hand corner. And um, yeah, we'll get 10,000 coins and two new kits to play in once we reach that stage. And as we get more and more supporters, We'll get better and better sponsorship deals and better and better rewards basically which we can use to upgrade either our stadium or our team and um, those are the two things we can upgrade in this series and what we'll be spending our coins on so if we go to our stadium right now we have the smallest stadium on the game it is town park it got a capacity a little bit under 10,000, and we have a thousand supporters and basically the main revenue we make is supporters showing up for games we play so do we have a thousand supporters well we get a thousand coins uh when we play a match do we have two thousand supporters well we'll get two thousand coins uh, when we play a match so eventually we'll have more supporters that we can have in our stadium let's say we have twenty thousand supporters well they cannot all be in the town park stadium it's just too small and that means we only make revenue of the supporters that can be in the stadium so eventually we like to upgrade our stadium into something bigger and we can reach the stages of Camp Nou, San Siro, Bernabeu, all those really big stadiums uh, in the game, but they're just going to be really, really expensive. So that will sort of be the end game of the series. That's where we get these really, really big stadiums. But for now, we are sort of in the small stadium stage and we, we don't even have close to 10,000 supporters yet, but eventually we'll have to upgrade that. The other thing we need to upgrade is, of course, our team, and that is the main thing we'll be working with in this series because we'll try and transform the lowest rated team possible on the game to the highest rated team sort of similar to ultimate upgrade if you follow that series so we start off with bronze players it cost thousand coins to upgrade a player rating once we reach the silver stage it is five thousand coins to upgrade a rating and once we reach the gold stage it is ten thousand coins per rating upgrade so uh, yeah here we have the lowest rated team possible on the game it's the worst of the worst players you can get basically and of course we'll try and upgrade these all to the highest rated players on the game i'm not too sure whether we'll include legends or not sort of figure that out as we reach the end of the series but that is far out into the future but for now let's jump into the first game of the series and see if we can get a good start to it here we go with the first opponent of this series, uh, Engley squad it looks like, um, in a 4-3-3 formation he got an inform on the center attacking mid, definitely a somewhat better squad than mine, come on let's get that out, out of the box, come on, no, that's pretty close, and again he wins the header and it's just wide of the goal, we're under pressure, can we make something work, oh the ball roll, Another little skill. Let's try a shot from distance. Why not? Why not? Oh, that's our best effort so far. 20 minutes into the game, but wide of the goal. Oh, no. We don't have any pace. Oh, come on. This is cruel. Stop him. Oh, I couldn't block that keeper. No. No. God, no. It's offside, however. And still nil-nil. Oh. He made a mistake. Can we shoot it in? Oh, that was such a bad shot. Another big chance. Should have scored on that one. Still nil nil. Turn here. Out wide. Be on side, please. The ball rolling behind. Come on. Who do we find here? Shoot it in. Shoot it in. You gotta score. Come on. No. Ah, I can't score with these players. There we go. This could be a good counter attack, actually. Take it out wide that way. And then the run over here. Come on. Come on. We got no pace. Look how slow he is. This is ridiculous. One more fake shot. Come on. And then the shot. The shot across goal. No. The pose. Come on. This is trouble. This is trouble. Come on. Yes. We saved it. No rebound, please. No. <sighs> he didn't score. Come on. Run. Run. Oh. He's so slow. Come on. There we go. And then one more. 
Oh, one more, come on. Shoot it in. Oh, this keeper. Inside. Um, what do we do here? Ball roll. That works. Come on, shoot it in. We get a goal. We get a goal. Finally. Finally, we score. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. But we get a goal. We are 1 0 using yeah, the only skills we kind of can use. The ball rolls. Um, and we go up 1 0. Yes. Alright, we have that. Nice. Um, that was an A pass. That was a driven A pass. What? Cook. Try out a shot from distance. Oh, the crossbar. Let's try the volley. Yeah, okay. That the crossbar again. Come on. I mean, that second shot was terrible. It ended up being almost an assist, but no second goal for us though. Hoffin, you have no more stamina, but I believe in you. Lovely fake shot. The ball roll. No touch dribble maybe. Works into the box. Come on. Yes, there we go. And so off the game. Finally, we get a second goal. And we end off the match 2 to nil. And there we have it, end of the match. And it ends at 2 to nil. Two goals from the same player, actually. I think it's a right mid, Hoffin, or something like that. Getting two goals for us. And, uh, yeah, gotta be honest, the squad was terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible to play with. Um, touch is terrible, the passes, I don't even know. And nobody could really run. We need somebody who's just sort of fast. That is what we've got to rely on in the start of this series. I think upgrade to somebody who can run. Now, one thing we have to do now is to figure out how many supporters we got after having played this match. And I'll explain now how we get supporters from games we play, basically. So, um, on normal ultimate team, um, you get coin rewards. And we will basically um, take these coin rewards and instead of saying that is the coins we get, that is the supporters we get. So as you can see here, we've got 580 supporters from this match. And it's basically based on our performance in the game, how many goals we score, if we get the man of the match, um, how many shots, our passing accuracy, and all that stuff is sort of calculated together to get our um, sort of reward, a supporter reward after each match. So if we win a game, we'll get all the supporters um, shown up here on the screen 580. If we happen to draw a match, um, we'll only get half of the reward because a draw is not as good as a win. And if we do lose, we'll lose some supporters, um, which probably will be half of the reward of the match. So um, basically, if we lose matches, we'll lose some supporters as well. It sort of makes sense. If we draw, we'll get half of it. And if we win, we get all of the supporters possible, basically. Um, that is how it work regarding supporters coming into our club. So we get 580 more supporters. So in total, we now have around 1500 supporters. And in upcoming games, those supporters uh, will give us coins, uh, which we can use to upgrade um, our team. But for now, for this match, we had 1000 supporters showing up, which means we do get a thousand coins, which is exactly not to upgrade one of our players a rating for now. And uh, we'll see if we can get into our side. Maybe someone who's a little bit better. Um, so um, yeah, let's go and upgrade one of our players in the squad. So looking at our team, it is pretty obvious that none of these guys are really gonna be outstanding. Whoever we upgrade one rating, because let's face it, they're all the worst players on the game. But Cook is our slowest striker, and therefore I want to upgrade him one rating. So if we go and look and cook and we upgrade him one rating, we can get Aaron Collins. Now, Aaron Collins is not good at either, but my hope is in the next episode, we can upgrade him maybe a few more ratings and then get maybe a somewhat pacey striker that can outrun our opponent's defenses. That is sort of my hope. So that is going to be our upgrade for now. And uh, we're going to get Aaron Collins in as our striker. So there might be some of you guys now thinking, okay, you upgraded one player, one rating. How on earth are we going to get this entire squad upgraded to the best squad on the game? But don't worry, because in upcoming episodes, we'll of course be playing more games. I, I think three games per episode is probably what I'll aim for. And of course, as we play more games, we'll get more and more and more supporters, meaning we'll get more and more coins for each match we play. And thereby we can upgrade more and more players so give it one two episodes and i think we can start having some of those stand out um stand out bronze players that maybe can do some skill moves create some entertaining gameplay and stuff like that this was just merely the introduction to the series and how it all works and all that kind of stuff so i hope you guys did enjoy this very first episode of foot manager so if you have any questions in regards to the rules or how the series works 
drop them down below in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Uh, and if you have any thoughts on the series and just for maybe there's something you think that's good, something you f maybe something you think that's bad, or maybe you have some ideas for stuff we can add to the series, feel free to comment it down below as well. And uh, I'll look through all the comments. And uh, as you probably could see, a lot of work went into this series. Uh, I had a lot of fun sort of creating the menus and coming up with the ideas and stuff like that. So I'll try my best to make this sort of a high production value series going forward. So um, it'll not be daily videos, it may be every two to three days, maybe even four days if there's a lot of work on some of the videos. Um, so just have that in mind and if you did enjoy this very first episode, uh, if you give it a thumbs up that would be very much appreciated because, well, a lot of work went into it. So if you did enjoy it, please help me out by doing that. And apart from that, I just want to say thank you very much for watching this first episode of Foot Manager. And that's pretty much all. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.